Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. In the past, whenever I've done any videos on Luminar 4 talking about replacing a sky, I've mentioned that if you have any sky images you shot yourself or any that you purchased from a third party, you cannot install them in Luminar 4. You have to keep them in a folder, put that folder somewhere on your system, and then when you want to use a sky from that folder, you'd have to go to Sky Selection, all the way to the bottom, load custom sky image, navigate to where that folder is on your system, and then you would use that sky, and you'd have to do that every single time. Well, on one of those videos, one of my viewers of that video, Dave Wood, commented, Anthony, the Luminar skies on a Windows 10 machine are kept in this specific folder, and he gave me the path and everything to where that folder is for a Windows 10 machine. And if you have skies that you created yourself or that you purchased from a third party, you could just copy those images into that folder and then they'll show up in this drop down. Now, I don't have a Windows 10 machine to show you specifically where that folder is, but in the description below this video, I'll have a link to that path and that folder. And again, you could just go on your system, find that folder, copy any sky images you have you photographed yourself or that you purchased from a third party into that folder. Make sure Luminar is closed when you do it because if Luminar is open when you copy them in there, they won't show up in this drop down until you close Luminar 4 and reopen it. So that's for the Windows 10 machine. Now, he didn't mention anything about Mac computers. So I did some research and I found where this folder is on mac systems and it's a lot more complicated than a windows 10 machine so i'm going to show you that i'll also have this listed in the description below the video um, because it gets a little bit complicated now again um, we should have luminar 4 closed when we do this now you're not going to hurt luminar 4 if luminar 4 is open it's just that the skies won't show up in the drop down until luminar 4 closes and reopens and we're going to add to that folder this uh, single sky image, all right? So, now on a Mac computer, open up Finder, and then once you open up Finder, go to uh, your applications, go to your Luminar 4 app. Your Luminar 4 app is actually a package of a lot of files inside of this uh, Luminar4.app file. It's actually a folder. And to access the contents, hold in the control key, on your Mac keyboard and click on the Luminar 4 app, then go down to show package contents. And when you do that, you'll have a folder called contents, double click and open that, go to frameworks, double click and open that. And then what we want to do is go down to MP Luminar 4 resources dot framework, double click on that. Then we have resources, double click on that. And then we finally have sky textures right there. Double click on that. And we have our sky image here, this Adobe stock uh, file. I'll just drag that in there and I'm gonna move it right in there. So now it's in that folder. Now I'll close that folder down. I'll reopen up Luminar 4. And you'll see that that Adobe stock sky image will now be in the dropdown. Uh, then we'll be able to easily access that image every single time and we don't have to go through that rigmarole of navigating to where it is on our system. <clears throat> so we'll go to Creative, go to AA Sky Replacement, go to Sky Selection, and right at the top is Adobe Stock number 16135-3826. And I could just click on it and voila, we added it to the image. Now you may have noticed as I was navigating to that folder that the, um, the folder for the augmented sky images was also in that same folder that the sky images was. So you could, um, if you have any, I don't know, planets, um, you know, Milky Way galaxies or something you want to add to that objects folder, you could do that as well. So again, you would go up to Applications, you would go to Luminar 4, hold the Control key and click on it, Show Package Contents, go to Contents, go to Frameworks, go to MB Luminar 
mpluminar4resources.framework. Click on that, click on resources, and then you see Sky SFX. Click on that. Then you could see screen. And there is all those planets and clouds and things like that. And you could add that to that folder and it will show up in that specific filter, AI Augmented Sky, that I mentioned a second ago. And I'm sure on a Windows 10 computer that is in a similar location, in a similar path that the uh, Sky Textures folder is. And again, I'll have all that linked in the description below this video. So again, thank you, Dave Wood, for uh, letting me know about where these folders are on the Windows machine. And I hope this helps you better use Luminar 4. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon. <laughs>